guys so after I did my favorite highlighter videos a lot of people have written me and said that could I do a series broken down to categories on my favorite products like foundations blushes lip products eyeshadows and all that good stuff and I thought it was a good idea because I never really did one like that so I'm gonna start with foundations and then I will do a video on my blushes and all that good stuff so um, instead of just foundations I included products that I use before and after foundations um, makeup wise so when you're using a foundation you want to make sure that you use a foundation primer it doesn't matter if you have oily skin dry skin combinational skin a primer helps the foundation stay on and it actually acts as a double-sided tape so it prevents your moist your oils and your moisture from coming out of your skin but it keeps the moisture in so your skin does not get dehydrated I've used a lot of different foundation primers. One of my favorites is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect, the peach tinted one. I personally like that a little bit more uh, during summer because I felt that for me it had more of a mattifying finish. The one I'm using recently is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Hydrating. And I got this in the bonus size one. It's one point. It's 3.4 fluid ounces. They're usually 1.7, and it. Um, the, I really like Laura Mercier's products, and their primer, especially this hydrating one, it keeps my face really hydrated, but it's not heavy. It has a gel consistency, and it, it's just one of those products that. This is what it looks like. It has a gel consistency, and you know how like products like Smashbox and um, the Hard Candy Primer and including the Monoset Anti-Chafing Gel, it has so much silicone in it that once you apply it to your face, it feels almost like oily. This one doesn't. It just feels like a really light lotion and it keeps your face, it, it's unscented, and it keeps your face really soft and smooth and it keeps my makeup on all day. So I really like that. And um, as far as foundations go, I have uh, two drugstore and two high-end. Well, not like high-end, but like department store. So one of my favorite ones is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This has light to medium coverage. And I like this because the color I have, which is number 230, Warm Ivory, is a perfect match for my skin. And... Uh, I don't like it because it doesn't really have a pump to it and it smells just like a remote um, foundation it has a really distinct smell and um, I like this because it's, this, this is one of those like no frill foundations if you're just you no know, on the go and you don't want to mess around with you know foundation application like for me I use a brush and like do all that this is a really quick foundation you can just pour some on your hands and kind of rub it over your skin. Don't expect it to give you full coverage, but it's great for people with kind of minor imperfections and just are looking for a foundation with great um, color match. So I really like that. And this I thought, this I think was $7.99. And then another one is also by Rimmel. I really like Rimmel products. This is the lasting finish. Um, and the color I have is uh, 100, which is ivory. And it's a little bit peachier than the warm ivory one, but I still could pull it off really well. And I like this one because it gives me um, medium to full coverage. Uh, if you want a little bit more coverage, you can definitely just go ahead and just pack it on. And it lasts really long time on my skin. Transfer resistant and looks fresh for 16 hours. I think now they came up with a 25 hour one. I haven't tried that yet but this is definitely one of those foundations I would suggest. If you're like a, like a student and you know you can't really afford those like department store brands but you still want a foundation that lasts all day I really like lasting finish. A lot of people are like well why don't you like the color stay by Revlon? That one is nice, but I feel like it it kind of made me break out. I think it was a little bit too much for me. Like, it stayed on really well, but it was just a pain to remove. And 
for me, I think it had alcohol in it or something, and I just couldn't handle it. So I don't like it. Now for my department store favorites, um, one of my uh, recent new love is the Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like that. And the color I have is number three, Creamy Vanilla. And this seriously is hardcore. Just got a little bit right there, see? And then it just like covers everything. Everything. This is one of the fullest coverage foundation I've ever come across. And I wouldn't recommend this for people who have like even like moderately bad skin. This is for people with like you just want to make sure you wash everything out. It covers scars, it covers pimples, it covers dark circles. I use this as concealer on most days, but this is one of those foundations that is hardcore. And you need to prep you need to prep your skin really well before you use this. You want to moisturize it to the point that you think it's a little bit too much. And you want to prime your skin. And then when you put this on, it's going to last all day. It's going to cover like nobody's business. And it is just one of those foundations that like little bit goes a really long way. So if you have like a pimple, like right there and you want to like cover it up because you're going on a date go ahead and take a little bit and dab it right there this I wouldn't recommend using this for entire face I usually use this for the areas that I want to cover usually it's like on my cheeks because I get those like acne right there and so this is one of those products I'll highly highly recommend not for the faint of heart but definitely a specialty product that I love and last but not least one of my favorites found favorite foundation ever my holy grail is the Laura Mercier cream smooth foundation in warm ivory I um, don't have the full size one but I made like samples of it like that and this is great this is a treatment foundation so it's actually good for your skin when you're wearing it it's um, it's really moisturizing so if you have really oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this. And it, first of all, the warm ivory color is great for my skin. That's what I'm. Ha that's what I have on right now. And it covers really well. It's really comfortable. It doesn't give you that makeup look, even though it's a medium to full coverage foundation. And it just, you just put it on, and your skin looks amazing. But it's not. Oh, you're wearing. You have a lot of makeup on. So this. I, I really like this foundation. It is a little bit more expensive at $50 a jar, but that jar would last you a really long time. It actually comes like the creme de la mer package where it comes with a little spatula because a little bit goes a long way. And the Laura Mercier um, makeup artist actually told me to not use the foundation brush because that would be way too much coverage. So um, usually what I do is that I just I take my finger and I dab it all over my skin. And I use like a like a flat top brush, or recently I've been like loving this tart, like big fluffy kabuki brush like this, and just like buff it all over my skin. And a little bit goes a really long way again. And it's one of my favorite foundations. And recently, what I do is that I mix my foundations with the Boots Number no. Seven highlights illuminating lotion to give my face more of a glow because I am obsessed with having glowing skin the more the better in my opinion um, obviously I don't want to look like a disco ball but so far I don't think I've managed to do that yet but yeah and after your foundations you want to kind of set everything and there are two loose powders that I love um, I really like the, for like every day, you know, I really like the Benai Luxury Powder Visage. I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce that. And this shade is in Banana. Banana. And it's pale yellow. I got like the biggest size one ever because I, since I'm paying, I'm the kind of person that, you know, like 
I will always try to order more to get free shipping and if I can't get free shipping I will just get like the largest size of everything so that you know I make the most of it I'm cheap like that don't judge me and this is one of the most finely milled powders I've ever used on my skin and even though it's a light pale yellow color it doesn't really show up on my skin and it just gives me more of that airbrush look it kind of adds a soft focus to my skin and it sets my makeup really well because uh, usually what I do is that I'll put like powder like bronzer and everything on top of my um, foundation directly but since I've been using more of a moisturizing foundation I kind of need to set it or else my face will look kind of streaky from the powder on top of like from a color product on top of my uh, like still kind of wet foundation so this is what I use on day-to-day -day basis on like really hot days or the days I know I'll be like sweaty and oily I will use the Ben 9 neutral set now this is the colorless face powder which means that it looks white but it blends into your skin really well and it kind it has one of the ingredients in it that uh, cover that um, that's antiperspirant so it actually control your face so you don't sweat as much and it keeps your makeup on really well so that those are my fav of oh, of course and fix plus after everything but you guys know that so yeah that's my favorite um, face products like cosmetics wise and yeah I guess that's it so I will see you guys in my favorites blushes videos bye